first I want to say <laughs> this video is not about the camping trip that I've gone on. This video is about stuff that I need to do to improve myself. This camping trip uh, made me realize that I've gotten a little out of shape. Look at me, I'm a big fat slob! Since, I think was when I was in the military. Um, but, it's... Anyway, you're not gonna see actual video of <clears throat> the camping portion itself. I'll, I'm gonna put some stuff in here about what I packed, which is problem number one. <laughs> I'm gonna put stuff in here about how we got there, uh, on the motorcycles, which is problem number two. And then uh, I'm gonna sum it up and what I plan on doing in the future so that what happened on the camping trip doesn't happen again. All right, so I'm getting ready to go on a motorcycle camping trip. This will be fun. I'm looking forward to it. But uh, right now it's kinda, kinda raining outside. Anyway, let's go through the packing list. So here's the packing list. So I've got my hat, first aid kit, bear spray, a uh, small hand axe, uh, camping like a folding shovel from when I was in the military. Um, I've got some paracord. I've got a fleece sleeping bag. That's in case it gets cold. I've got a miniature sleeping bag, a self-inflating air pad. A small like twig stove like a little rocket stove a cooking kit a knife this pretty cool knife a tire patch kit a headlamp and my backpack so far the um, couple of these things I probably don't need to bring but they all fit in my backpack and I got a couple camel packs that will fit down inside of the backpack I got one of these life straws here too um, this one does bacteria and parasites, chemicals and pesticides, and microplastics. So, um, the other cool thing is once you buy one of these, it helps kids in need. And basically, this right here has uh, like a filter in it. So, if you need water and you're near a water source, you can use the life straw. So. We'll put this over here with the rest of that stuff. And then we got uh, wool socks. Um, also, I'm going to have like another pair that I'm actually going to wear on the trip. And then, of course, I got this. It's a uh, G7X Mark II. And the really cool thing about this is the screen flips up on it so you can see what you're doing. But I am taking my GoPro with me as also, so... It should be good. So yeah, that's uh, those are the packing materials right now for the um, for the camping trip. All right, so it is 11:30, and I'm trying to replace the battery on my bike because it has gone dead on me once in the past. So if we're gonna be out in the woods for like three days. I need to make sure that it's not going to die. Um, so I've got a replacement battery right there. And it's going to go underneath the ECU right here. And you can see I took my trunk off, I took my saddlebags off, I took the side plate off. There's just all kinds of shit to take off of this thing. So basically I had to take the ECU, get it out of the way. Take these two bolts off, slide the cover back, and then I should have access to the battery. So, I got the battery in. Um, I guess I took the two screws right there. Got the ECU just pushed back, but it's still connected. And pull this old <coughs> closed cell battery out. So basically when you do this, there's like a little pull tab here that'll raise it up and let's lift it out. Our negative, okay, this is the negative. Yes, 
useful. I just want to make sure the terminals aren't loose because that'll make the battery heat up. Yeah, there we go. So everything is put back together now, the trunk, the saddlebags, I put my tools back in here, seats back on, and it's charging. Alright, uh, I am getting ready for the trip, I um, packed up the bike, mostly I gotta put my um, backpack on it still. I got my helmet. Uh, the center helmet with the camera is the one I'm taking because it seems like it's the most reliable. And I'm taking the Canon uh, G7X Mark II and the Cine Action Cam. Um, and of course, I got my phone, so <laughs> yeah, it's like a two and a half hour ride there, two and a half hour ride back, two days of staying in the woods, primitive camping. Okay. Well, here we go. Yeah, I'm not gonna fog up, but it's getting hot in here. Yeah, I think the speed limit is 50, but uh, yeah, that's. <laughs> Somebody's a straight asshole. Look at this. There's like gravel all over the road. The road. That's kind of awesome. The sun is bright this morning. I think it's because it's like a solstice or something. But they said that. Uh, the roads would be significantly brighter today because of the angle because of the angle of the sun. Stop signs elude some people, I guess. I'm leaving a little bit early to get to the meeting spot because I'm taking a backwards to get there. coming from my way, huh? Thank you.
like it's leaning kind of this way far. That it's on the other side too. It's good. I'm good. That's good. So I had to stop and adjust my bag. We weren't far down the road from where we had got gas. It wasn't long before we were back on the road. A couple of the guys had decided to wear their packs instead of strapping them to their bikes, which in this case actually may have helped a bit. They didn't have to worry about them falling off. And they said it didn't make much of a difference. The uh, bag actually sat on top of the passenger seat. They seemed fine with it. Yeah. I expected it to be like that kind of gradual. Damn it. Hard to hear with these uh, things. Yeah. Traffic. Hello? Hi. Hi. Um, I have to try to my phone. Um, how do you use like an air pump at one of the get-go gas stations? Uh, why? Because I just got in my car to like go to my meeting with my teacher. Yeah. And it says that my front right tire is at like 20 pounds. You're fine. Just like, are you going to be late? No. Okay. Well, you have to put money in it. I'm riding my motorcycle right now, so <laughs> don't interrupt. <Sorry. laughs> um, you have to select the number of pounds that you want. Okay. So that's the plus sign until you get the pounds. And when you okay. put the money in, it'll start up and you just air up your tire. And it'll stop when it gets to the proper pounds. Okay, cool. Okay. Sounds good, thank you. All right, love you. Love you too. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. That's beautiful. <laughs> this is like a fucking shortcut or what? There's no rest areas. I mean, it's not a highway, but this thing is pretty long. I'm pretty sure this van passed me like two seconds ago, too. Can really hear the groan of the engine or the drone? Drone of the engine? Yeah. Can really hear the drone of the engine when you're just cruising. That person had a handicap flicker too. Let me go up here and then kind of.
it off on the side a little bit. Let some pressure go from the traffic. The buffeting is pretty good. Oh, rest area. Speak of the devil. Yeah, that looks like it might be a spot. We can stop. Pull off the side of the road here. You shut up. Park in the shade. Parking or not, and turn left, there should be a trail there. Alright, so basically what happened on the trip was I packed too much. I didn't realize um, how steep the trail was, how out of shape I was, and there's a few things that I gotta work on. Uh, number one is I'm a smoker and I need to quit smoking. Two, I need to keep walking every day, possibly start running uh, depending on how my body feels. You know, I've been in a few accidents and things, so. Keeping up with people was a little difficult, although they did help me out a lot. They were super supportive. Uh, they helped me actually carry my pack at one point uh, during the trip. Actually, a couple of points during the trip. Um, <laughs> because, you know, my, my leg was just killing me. Um, the shattered kneecap and the, not having any cartilage in my right ankle um, affected me pretty bad. And, uh, you know what? I couldn't pick a better group of people to go with they were like i said super supportive and it helped a lot and i feel i kind of feel a little disappointed in myself that i wasn't able to do the things that i used to do and it's mostly my fault i'm not sure what else i what else i could say so my plan for the off season is to walk more run more quit smoking lose weight and be able to keep up train to be able to do these kinds of things again i know that that won't last forever but at my age i should be able to do these things and right now i can't and that is the most disappointing thing in my life right now